It is time now for your call of the day. In 2019, has been a pretty good year for most of the names in the energy space. Of course, crude oil rallying about 20% year to date. The XLE ETF up more than 12%. And today, Goldman Sachs is picking a winner. They are upgrading ConocoPhillips to a buy, and they've got an $82 price target on that name. Joining us now live from Minneapolis is Pete and Jerry. Now, Pete, you are involved in the energy <laughs> space. You are not involved in yeah. COP, ConocoPhillips. Right. Have you seen the right. upgrade? Will the upgrade maybe make you get into the name? Was it a compelling call? I think it is a compelling call, and it's something that you and I were just talking about on Friday, Brian. We were talking about cash flows, and that's yep. really the headline of what this is about. It's the cash flows. Well, if you look at Chevron and you look at Exxon and you see those cash flows, those are magnificent. These are good. I think those are great. But it doesn't mean that, that Conoco can't be a great p performer as well. I think when you look at it from a beta perspective, yes, it's probably more of a beta stock than Exxon or than Chevron. So if there's upside, absolutely, I think Conoco probably can outpace them. But I think because of the fact that it's underappreciated some of the values around the world globally, that's part of this story as well. So I think when you look at Exxon and Chevron, I think that they have some upside for sure. But I think Conoco might have an accelerated move. So I absolutely am going to be looking at this much closer. Closer. Yeah, and they had downgraded the stock. Goldman did back in October. The stock fell, obviously. Now they're saying yep. get back in, John. They like, they love the cash flow story. Right. Took the target up to 82 from 76, about a, call it an 8% upside move. Um, like that. Uh, like the LNG exposure they've got. So it's not just uh, when we say oil and gas, these guys are really on the liquefied natural gas side, which I think is, you know, one of the big rich areas for them to exploit going forward. So, uh, GLNG and Conoco, two of my favorite plays for that. You know, I think Conoco is pretty interesting. The analyst has done a good job, as you point out, and because he was downgrading, then he's upgrading it again. Uh, and I don't think the stretch in terms of his base case, where oil has to be, which is around 45, is a stretch. So I, I like the call. You know, it's been I've owned it in the past. Don't own it now. A lot of it's people don't value. It. I know the company pretty well. I spoke with the CEO a number of times. They don't. They don't value the international exposure. Conoco is a lot more international than you think. They've got, of course, they're suing Petavesa, Venezuela, over a refinery in Trinidad and Tobago. But they've got a deal with Qatar. They've got. They've got more international exposure. But sometimes I believe they get the valuation of just the domestic play. I, I think you get the discount just because of the opaqueness and, and kind of what is the valuation that you can actually put on it and. So the, the assets that are really worth more, which are more liquid, those, that's where the valuation comes from. I mean, it's 19 times. It's not that cheap. I mean, from... No, know. but I, I, yeah. I agree with you. But, <laughs> but for some reason, that's not how you're looking at these stocks. I mean, they're, they're proxies for oil prices. Right. And if you got a positive view on oil, then you own it. And, but here's the risk, though. Oil, as we have right. found out, trying to, trying to guess the direction of oil is... Right. I mean, just flip a coin. It's been a mugs right. game. Yeah. Right. I mean, right? What, the, the smartest people, allegedly, in... in commodity in oil specifically like Andy Hall right they're not in business anymore because they got it wrong so to me it's stage right it's stage left you play the moment here's the reality yeah. if you go back 25 or 30 years I did this one night up in Canada it was raining I sat there on my computer and I did every the month-long close the inflation adjusted price of oil for the past 25 years is about $46 a barrel right. that's where oil kind of wants to live over a long period of time we've forgotten that